I've learned a little trick that makes my ear look a lot smarter than it is. When I'm tuning with somebody else, what I do is I lower my pitch on the, on the string that I'm going to tune, and then I know that I have to come higher. Because, <laughs> honestly, sometimes I don't know if I'm sharp or flat. This way I know I'm always flat, and I'll tune it up to meet that other note. So that's just a little tip from the top for you, and either use it or don't. And I hope you never need it. I hope your ear is a lot better than mine. All right, now, let's begin to tune together. You're going to now make your tone on your E string match the tone on mine. And again, if you don't know, if you're sharp or flat, go flat, because you don't want to break your string if you go too high. Now, if you're turning that string, turning that tuning key and turning that tuning key, it's not making any difference. You turn in the wrong tuning key. <laughs> I do that too. All right, what you do is follow the string over the nut and then see which machine it goes into and then you'll easily know which tuning key you have to turn. And <laughs> if you should be tuning the wrong one, know that you're in good company. Let's tune that E string. Turn the tuning key to lower the pitch, then turn it the other way until it matches my note. Then go to the next string by clicking the next button. Easy. We'll do the same thing for your A string, directly below the E string. Turn the tuning key to lower the pitch, then turn it the other way until it matches my note. Then go to the next string. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing for the D string. Just make sure to follow the D string over the nut and make sure you turn in the right tuning key. And Hey, you know, you were halfway done and it's getting faster, I'm sure. Now let's do that same thing to the G string. The one right below the D string. Follow it over the nut. Make sure you're going to turn. All right. Right under the G string is the B string. And we're going to do the same exact thing. We'll lower it and raise it. And then we're going to hit the next button and do the very last string on the guitar. The final string is a high E string. And it tunes the same way. Lower the pitch and raise the pitch. Follow it over the nut and make sure you're turning the right tuning key. I don't think you want to go through this again. Or do you? 